Hello, I'm John Fox here on channel John of the West. I'm having a hive swap adventure, and uh, before I start, and before I started recording, I should have done this, but I didn't. But I'm just going to pour out some tea for myself. Like so, there we go. Doing it on the screen, so it's not weird. Yeah, it's like, what's that noise? It's me pouring tea. Is it? Is it though? Yes, yeah, it is. Oh. Anyway, it's still a bit hot. Right, I shouldn't put that on the desk, but I did. Now, we have a perfectly square cube to look at, or whatever the hell it's called. You started calling this bizarre energy cube a power cell, after deciding the word battery wasn't nearly cool enough. The sketchy diagram. Whoa! It actually does seem to have some kind of cool power source, you guess. You're, well, you're not 100% on this. It's a sketchy diagram in an alien language of a double crocodile teleporter. You're not exactly a, an expert. Baez, you silly, silly little angel. You can't run on alien power. You sprinkle just a little pinch of spice onto the power cell. It vaporizes immediately. Oh, why wasn't I doing this before? Uh, you think you should probably find a place to put this pretty quick instead of just holding it in your bare hands all night. This would be a good solution to some kind of problem that necessitated an animal eating this power cell. You don't have one of those problems, though it's so it's kind of a crappy solution. With utmost gravitas, you carefully place a pog directly on the middle of the power cell. Nothing happens. Careful not to mix these up. You'd hate to reach for a critter treat and come back like a, a wren or a stimpy or uh, a dug funny. Yes. Nah, they're already irresistible to pretty much all animals. Why gild a lily? What? No! No, Byers is not a snack. Byers picks the treat up with his beak and, after a moment, spits it back into your hand. Evidently, he doesn't care for the taste. Either that, or this bird is literally too dumb to know what food is. Right, it's fun with clicking on items. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to click on all the things now. Uh, oh no! But you want these in case we find a cute animal to feed them to. Plus, stomping on them would get crumbs everywhere. Depending on your present location, the previous sentence may have been sarcasm. Gosh, location confidential. Con gosh, location conditional sincerity. This really is an adventure. Your dog would make a great ballerina if only they didn't have four left feet. Thank you. Thank you, you've got that joke from a pop school stick. Oh, that would startle the bejesus out of him. Don't step on this thing. It looks important. Also, it might kill you if you do that. Maybe even... even lives here? You don't know a dang about this place. A vent shaft was revealed when the missile struck knocked over some boxes. You could possibly fit inside, if you had to. You know, I should have looked at the screen first. There we go. Okay, so timeline-wise, well, let's we'll have that conversation in a second. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Well, gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy, and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say, it was more dangerous than I expected. Well, um, I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but typing quirks are sort of... I've noticed you don't really have one, but um, they're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Or, I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but 
I don't, I don't know you that well. Oh, I see. Well, I am sorry. I will know better than that from now on. No, I'm, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephros, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel than sit on it forever while no other person has no while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in, exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get you out of there. Uh that would be too hard if you had any what? Ah. That won't be too hard if you have can find my hover pad. It's around here somewhere. I use it to move my lusses around, but Tetrarch Damak borrowed it. To move some guns, I think. Or maybe his drums? Oh, <laughs> bad timing. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple of sweeps ago. So I pretty much... So I guess it's pretty much his now? You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> Actually, that's mostly what Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice. But where is this hover pad exactly? Oh right, uh, sorry. It's fine, I just don't want you to bleed to death. Or whatever, while typing. I think it's probably still in Tetrarch's loft above his respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but... There's a ton of guns. <sighs> I don't want to make you anxious, but... That describes... Um... Every block in Tetrarch's hive? Great. I'll message you when I've made some progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so... I'm gonna chill out here for a little while. Hang in there. I'll find that hover pad soon. Look at this. Huh. The handprint is probably how this door is opened. Or maybe it just means the room on the other side is room four. Or room hand. Or maybe that's the obvious local sign for loot lethal monsters. Do not enter. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. <laughs> oh, but I didn't look in the other room. I'm an idiot. Hey. Hi, Joey. How's it going? Not great. I accidentally put everything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door. That's probably it. The Tetrarch is extremely, has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid or is your planet really dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Exactly. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner for one thing. And it has a tree growing in it for my lusses. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What, what does he <laughs> even need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rascal lad. But uh, don't tell anyone else, it's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Alright. Okay, but um, yeah. So, we're rebelling. Huh? It's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? No, the heiress is a girl. Oh, um, right, you're an alien, okay. Some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant that holds our entire planet in a wicked finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one, well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the other people 
in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. But anyway, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other High Bloods follow her, and of course, she has her drone army. Well, of course, ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding, I don't know what High Bloods or drone armies or anything are. I hate to be all, hi, I'm new here on your planet, can you gradually bring me to speed on literally anything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness, feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. Haha, <laughs> you're pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding under a ton of rocks? Haha, <laughs> I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Well, okay, the drones are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright for, by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, a lot of this can wait until we get you to safety. I'm going to have to find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. Okay, it's a living. Right, quite. I, I really want to see what's in there. Uh, it looks like actually you weren't powering the door with that power cell as you thought from the override detected lockdown re engaged messaging. It seems like you are hacking it, sorta. Let's go with hacking. I'm kind of grumpy that I missed that wasn't in that door. Oh, hey, look! The tablet's doing the thing again. Hey, Xerox, are you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. Oof, right, sorry. It's okay. It doesn't sound okay. Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this um, security puzzle, you could call it. I've solved the one in the basement, no sweat. But this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Do you mean the serpent rom that Tetradamic rigged up to his power hexagrid? grid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, that probably is it. There's another one. A different one. I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I, I don't know what it would be connected to. It's I have security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now, they're different? There's different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes any sense. Oh, it's probably XXXXXXXXX. Oh, really? No, wait, sorry, I meant XXXXXXXXX. XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Uh, well, I guess it's the name of a boy I like? Really? Haha, <laughs> don't tell him anyone, but that's what my password is too. Oh, do you have a girl you like? Oh no, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. I am. <laughs> oh, huh. So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in the rocks? About the security console. Yeah. About that. Can you give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple of different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, it's the Grubbles, isn't it? Yeah, we keep going back and forth between the XXXXX and the XXXXX. I actually don't know which one is it is right now. Well, I'll scout around if I can f see if I can find something. He's bound to have written it down somewhere or something, right? Um, I hope so. I'm going to conserve my strength a little bit, maybe. Getting kind of dead. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. both at the same time. Okay. The feed in the top TV monitor looks like the room you were in moments ago. It's weird to see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks slightly different than you remember. The left one seems to be an error message. But you don't recognise the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephros in the big bottom one? His big monster parent thing is helping him out. And, um, that's, um, you are supremely creeped out. The door is pretty intimidating. The spear sticking through it manages to be significantly more intimidating. Whoever threw the spear is definitely the most intimidating, though, so it's a good thing they don't seem to be around. Did you not look at the door before trying that? It's insanely dangerous out there. If you want to make a fast run for it across the street, you better be fast. Jeez, Derek really doesn't like who, this fish lady. Huh? You don't know what the whole... Sorry, that's not how you say that sentence, is it? Jeez, Derek really doesn't like this fish lady, huh? You don't know what the whole deal is, but she seems pretty stylish. At least from what you can make out under the lunatic scribblings. This imagery is completely opaque to you. It must have some sort of deep cultural significance to the inhabitants of this world. I'm guessing it's just a stupid action plan. You assume this is a trophy for the best Terracat menace fawn thrush bronco in the show. Wow, a big screen TV. You're kind of blown away. This Tetrarchamic guy is obviously some kind of millionaire money bags. No VCR though. Weird. This hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your house while at the same time not caring if people fall down holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal below. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone is going to steal his... Okay, there's just... There's no way he eats bugs, right? There's his passwords. Tamek has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grubbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be his current favourite. 
Though at least until he crosses his out and writes the other one beneath it. But I say the gravels are the gravels. Uh, it's L E S and E L S. More importantly, is the spelling. Um, yeah. G R U. I might want to take a picture of that. Okay, what does it look like? It looks like an EUPBB. EUPBB. Let's see if I can just remember it. I might get lucky. How do I change the camera angle? There we go. You might actually say in the box top right hand corner. That's funny. Oh, oh, was that just added? Okay, so let's call that uh, C Y H C Y H back C Y H back C Y H. It says up there as well. Doors. Oh, and lift. There's the lasses. So, damn it, I was going to say something, but, uh, well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into. Um, I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyways, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat? Oh, yeah, I remember now. That's Tetrarch's Lassus. Okay, sure. 
Hey, while you have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What what means? What's a Nessus? Wow. What? That's... That's just about the saddest thing I've ever said. Yeah, cultural differences, etc, etc. Can you bring me up to speed on what this wild beast is talking to me? Why does Damik even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not usually crazy. Your lessons takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from, like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm still currently being crushed by heavy debris. I'm not really... Are they all, um, beasts? Well, yeah. What else would they be? And they're always this ram rambunctious. I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? It's some adults and their kids, and one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter, and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet. Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you, for your adults. Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it, nobody ever comes back. Ever. No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. Okay, they're on Alternia. Um. Da -da -da. I think this might be another wow, I mean, I'm an alien conversation. Better save for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks? Probably. I'm gonna have to rest in a sec. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on finding the holopad. I'll let you know what I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm going to focus maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, uh, stay alive. Um, keep power. Oh jeez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Okay. I was going to say, so as far as I can tell, I don't remember the name of the troll planets, but there's two, isn't there? There's Alternia and Beforia? No, is it called Beforia? I can't remember, but I think... Oh no, there isn't two, a, two troll planets, it's like... Hang on. Yeah, there is... <laughs> I'm trying to remember the time. Yeah, there are two troll planets. But there are four sets of trolls. Homestuck kind of gets confusing. Because um, there's the trolls, the, the teen trolls, and the adult trolls from Alternia. And the old adult ones are from like thousands of years before. And there are the same sets in an alternative version called Beforia. But this seems to be Alternia, which is actually the second one. Anyway, that would mean the heiress isn't the heiress from Homestuck, but a teen version of the evil witch thing person, I think. I might be completely off about this, but as far as I can tell. Do what I'll do, I'm sure somebody will have like, written this up in the Wikipedia thing. I'll read that afterwards. Anyway. The cabinet is empty. It's kind of running on the running theme today. Also, for most of your life. Wait. There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Damak missed it too. That, uh, that would explain why it's actually clean. This is Kool-Aid? Oh, you get it? Ha! <laughs> this place is kind of horrible. Uh, we don't get Kool-Aid in Britain, but I know the phrase cool, uh, drinking the Kool-Aid. So yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, let's look at this fridge. This is probably a fridge, right? You get the sense that, it, that this is a fridge, given its fridge shape and its placement in a, what is obviously a kitchen. Did he just hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Boys, you swear. 
Grub sauce? Huh. I wonder if everyone on this planet eats nothing but bugs. Or maybe it's just damage. That would be worse somehow. You take the luscious milk. Maybe this will calm that beast. I don't think the beast look, has looked aggressive. But I do have the milk now. Could be anything in there. You're not about to open Pandora's doggy bag to find out. Are those teeth? You remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. Oops. The Crux. Wow, that's, that's a really stupid name for a kind of beverage. This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as the taste and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. Right, I'm just going to finish the rest of this. Fires is lactose intolerance, you're pretty sure. Though this stuff may not actually contain lactose. You know what? You're not going to overthink it. There we go. Oh, the ball. Yep, that sure is a bowl filled with nasty milk you got there. Someone out there would surely be eager to cram their face in this. But it isn't you. There's also some stairs. But I may ascend. Huh. I did not think that would work. Right, we will explore this room on the next episode. Well, there's some kitchen stuff. Anyway, I've been John Proxy on Telling John West, and I've been having a hive swap adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.